Good morning, friends. It's Nomad Brad coming to you from my box truck. So I've decided that it's time to sell my Oops Mega 2 Power Station. I did a review video on that a couple months ago and I just don't have any use for it. My box truck already has a huge solar and electrical system and the Mega 2 Power Station is just taking up space in my van. And so I decided to sell it. I listed it for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Retail is like 1100 bucks. I'm selling it for 700. So getting a good, someone's getting a good deal on it. It's basically a new unit. Found a guy, uh, he's about 45 minutes away. And uh, so he wants the unit. So I'm gonna drive out to him because he's out in uh, BLM land in a class C and he doesn't wanna have to move. So I'm gonna drive out to him, deliver the unit and make a little bit of money. And by the way, when I did that Oops Power Station review, they did not pay me. Uh, they just gave me the unit in exchange for my review. So basically, the $700 I'm gonna sell this unit for is you know, just to cover, that's my profit basically for filming, editing the video, publishing it, that type of stuff. So, we're gonna go for a little drive today through beautiful Yuma, Arizona. Let's go! So I'm paying very close attention to my engine temperature levels during this trip and I'll show you guys why. Uh, here's a little flashback video of what happened to me last week as I was leaving Schooly Palooza 2024. Alright friends, <laughs> we're back at it to the Nomad Brad broken down box truck channel. So I just left Schooly Palooza. I've been out in the desert all week, uh, not really just hanging out, not driving my van. It's been fine. Uh, as soon as I got on the freeway from leaving Schooly Palooza, uh, my engine started running really hot. Uh, pulled over, opened the cap uh, on the overflow. Some uh, pressure came out, closed it back up, and. Uh, it went back down to normal temperature, started driving, and then uh, it seems like as soon as I get up to freeway speed for uh, more than a few minutes, the temperatures on the dash start to climb again. So I've only made it maybe 20 minutes from Schooly Palooza down the freeway, and I've had to pull over three times uh, because my uh, my temperatures went high. You know, I had that overheating problem in Marfa, I did a coolant flush, changed out the thermostat, but um, here I have to pull over again, the temperature just climbed up. All right, so here we are, we're pulling up on King Road, which is where uh, the guys parked at. Van was getting hot, it, uh, it went up to three quarters of the way. So I turned the heater on full blast and uh, it brought me back down to 50% heat. So there's definitely still something going on with my cooling system. So anyway, but we made it out here. We're doing good. I'm gonna park it and uh, sell this Oops power station. And then we'll head back to dad's in Yuma and do some more work on the van. Of you because Hi, kids, uh, good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. You mind being on YouTube? Ah, I don't mind. You don't mind? Okay, cool. Yeah. That's Thomas. That's my son. Thomas. Hi, Thomas. It's Brad Thomas. My last name is Thomas. We <laughs> share a name. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Yeah, you having fun out here? Oh yeah, he's having a good time. So you're out here with your parents, yeah? Yeah, yeah. My parents are in the smaller van. They got the transit there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool, man. Here it is, right here. 
Yeah, check it out. Delivery in the desert, that's above and beyond. <laughs> desert delivery. <laughs> We're doing it out here, solar service. <laughs> Bringing the power to the people. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Do you have anything on the class? Oh yeah, you got some, excuse me, you got some panels up there. Yeah, that, that uh, RV when I bought it was equipped with a Victron, uh, let's say 320 amp hour Victron. Nice. And 640 watt of solar. Wow, that's a nice garage. Yeah. You, cool you usually don't see that. No, that's a rare model and when I saw it, I jumped on it. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, very nice, uh, nice garage unit. I like that. These RVs are well insulated as well. They're uh, R12. Oh, nice. And the double bottom, uh, whatever you call it, sub uh, basement is heated. In, okay. So the tanks are heated with uh, this propane furnace. He's ready to ride. Oh, yeah. He says, let's go. Uh, do you mind if I do like a... Yeah, test it out, man. Just a few. Uh, yeah, test it out. That's a cool unit. Man. I like the size. Uh, it is a really nice unit, yeah. Size factor. They did a good job. And it's a little cheaper than like the the Jackery brand units, you yeah. know, so it's a little savings. Is it charged already or is it? Yeah, it should be pretty full. Okay. Um, it charges fast too. The whole thing charges in 30 minutes. Yeah. Do you live in uh, Yuma? Well, my dad has a house in Yuma. Okay. So I spend winters in Yuma and then I leave when it gets too hot. You can turn, if you hit that, it turns on the, sun, the inverter. There you go. That one, the 25 bucks at Walmart. Nice. A little air fryer. 5,000 uh, uh, 5, reviews and oh, see, it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pulls uh, 1,000. Yeah. yeah, I love all the specs it gives you. It shows you what it's pulling. Yeah. And uh, you get lots of USBs also. And it's got fast charge, so you can plug in like a MacBook. I'm, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I, well, I'm glad you can use it, man. I'm I figured it's a good it deal for somebody. With the uh, seat here. Thirteen point seven two. I'm in business. It's right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, thanks a lot, brother. You're welcome, man. Yeah, yeah, happy you can use it. All right. So that's it. The oops has been delivered. Uh, he was a really nice guy. Super happy that the unit went to him. Uh, he's gonna make really good use out of it. He's actually like a boat captain. And so he's gonna be using the Oops Mega 2 power station on his boat uh, when he heads back to Canada. And he said he really appreciated buying it because he saved a lot of money uh, by getting it from me down here, not having to pay all of the crazy Canadian taxes. So it was a good deal. And he even gave me 20 bucks towards gas on top of what the cost of the unit was. So it was a good experience. Time to hit the road again, head back to Yuma, and uh, fingers crossed, we don't overheat. <laughs> Let's see what happens. the way up on the H mark but we're getting hotter than we should be so there it went it went all the way up to three quarters from about 60% and then it dipped back down now it's down to like 50% so there's definitely something going on it's intermittent um, it kind of makes me think it might be an electrical issue so it could be the sensor it could be my uh, water temperature sensor it might be faulty or maybe the connections between those and the my electronic computer. Um, but I don't, I don't really think it's the radiator itself. I don't think it's a clog in the radiator. I feel like, uh, I feel like if it was a clog in the radiator, it would be more consistent. And we're back. We're gonna pull in, check this thing out. Pop the hood, see what it looks like down there, see what's up.
Yeah, I got hot again. No, it's not hot here. No, no liquid here coming yeah. out the top. Yeah, it's not just, you know, it's just, this part's within reason. 